This is an example from the ANOVA lecture slides. In this particular example, we are going to compare the mean cost of attending a North American sporting event. Do you remember those? I barely remember what it's like to go to a football game or watch hockey. What is that thing? The hockey's that puck thing, right? Um, just in case this is being listened to in uh, 15 years, this is 2020, COVID-19 time. Okay, so we're going to compare the uh, mean fan cost of attending a major North American sporting event, baseball, football, hockey, basketball, all the sports that matter. Uh, fan cost includes everything related to attending the sporting event. This is from several years ago, by the way. Uh, cost of tickets, meals, transportation, parking, the whole thing. Okay, so we have our uh, information. Right? We see our, our groups, MLB, NBA, NFL, NHL. Uh, their averages, uh, some variances, and um, our ANOVA table. So I'm just going to shift over to the right a little bit here. Do, 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 do. We know what we're doing. So step one, always, we have our HO and our HA. Not that I suggest typing all this stuff into Excel file. It's just easier to talk about it and do it that way. So um, HO, HO is that the means are all the same. The mean fan cost for Major League Baseball is the same as the mean fan cost for NBA, same as the mean fan cost for NHL and NFL. Okay. HA, at least one of those means is not like the other. Okay, at least one is different. You can uh, couch it in um, statsy speak. You can say um, mu i. Yeah, nah. Just at least one mean fast uh, fan cost is different. Alpha. Let's just make alpha the old simple 0 0.05 for no good reason other than it's easy. And our F statistic. So we see our F statistic on the table. Right? So we see F equals to 55.9. Uh, you got a numerator degrees of freedom, which in this case equals to K minus one, which is this three over here, right? Four levels, four sports, minus one is three, and a denominator degrees of freedom of the total, uh, which in this case, the total is 122 minus four, which is 118, which is what we see here in the degrees of freedom for one or within the groups. P-value. Oh, sorry. What do we get? Oh, are those standard deviations or variances equal or equal enough? So we know we have our little rule of thumb. And if we look for the biggest variability, which is looks to be NFL, so equals to 3889.413, divided by the one with the smallest variability, which appears to be the NHL, 2416.448, we see that, hey, that 1.6, less than three variances equal enough. Check that. P-value, very, very small, 1.46 times 10 to the really, really small. Let's get a superscript up in there. What is it? Minus 22. Minus 22. Okay. Very small p-value. And again, you know step five. You know step six. You've seen it before. You'll see it again. Do that again here. Step five. That p-value is indeed less than alpha. In fact, less than any reasonable alpha. Therefore, we do reject h naught, And we say that one of the mean fast costs is different. Yes, one of these sports is it like the other? I won't say one of them doesn't belong, but uh, one of those sports is indeed different. You'd have to do a multiple comparison of means, Bonferroni, those kind of guys, in order to see which one is different or which ones are different. It could be that one is much more expensive than the rest. It could be that one is much cheaper than the rest. And we could kind of take a peeky at those averages and we suspect the NFL is freaking expensive. 
All right. Thank you very much.